Hello and welcome to another Vlogmas. This is going to be my 2022 book journal. Um, I'm just using this bullet journal which is from Sostra and Gran. I don't know what size it is. It's definitely smaller than um, A5. I think it might be B5. And I just thought I'd run through kind of how I've set it up so far. Um, so got this cover picture and um, I just basically copied this um, from something I found on Pinterest and kind of changed it slightly um, then I've got some resolutions so save a pound per book continue book budgeting read books they enjoy attempt to read the alphabet book of the month book of the year don't overthink it um, and then this again I just drew myself based on something I found on Pinterest um, I'm going to do a bookshelves page. I'm not sure how. Um, I said in another vlog I made a mistake of penning things in. Um, someone mentioned some Pilot Frixton pens. I do have those but I didn't use them because I have just got the normal size. I think 0.7. I don't. I think the smallest they do is 0.5 and I like a 0.1 to 0.3 um, pen. So it's a good idea. Um, and then I've pencilled in 22 and 22 because I didn't think I was going to do that as a challenge, but I've decided to. Um, a to Z of book, I've got split over three pages because I did think about it. Then um, I've got book budget in here. On theory, I should just be writing kind of how much my allowance is, which I already know. The money I'm saving and what I spend. Um, and then just what I count is my book of the month. Then on this page, I'm going to do it kind of that way. I'm going to do a book of the year chart. Um, I might show you at the end kind of how I've done this year. There are loads of templates on Instagram, but I keep getting mixed up. So I found it easy to write it out. Then... Um, this is my January page so again this is something I've drawn myself but I've kind of copied it from something I found on Pinterest um, <clears throat> and I used watercolour pens and then I did go over it with a paintbrush um, I don't love it but it could have been far worse uh, and it's only bloodstream because I put water on it so I've just done January setup so far so my January potentials I'm hoping this is going to look pretty um, and then any stack challenges I do, January wrap up, books bought in January and I think on this page I'm going to do books borrowed from the library, um, book of the month and then that, that's kind of it so far. So I'm hoping kind of as the months go on I will fill this up but obviously make it my own so I'm just, so if January doesn't work out and Maybe I, I don't fill one of these pages up. I'll leave that out of February and so on. I just kind of wish that these pages up front, I'd left myself a bit more space. So I'll just show you them again and maybe give you a chance to actually look at them. On this 22 and 22, in theory, I'm going to pick 22 books over the next couple of weeks and write them in. I might even just still write them in in pencil and then pen them in once I've read them. My A to Z last year, I didn't start it until July and I just kind of kept seeing it. So I went in and filled it in. Um... And I wish I'd wrote in uppercase, but it is what it is. Oh, I did. I moved on to uppercase. Right, I'll just swap over and then I will show you kind of how I've done this year. So this is what I've used this year. I don't know where this is from, but it's Island Stationery. 
Um, I think it might have been from a home bargains. Um, but it starts off lovely and neat. This was going to be my everything journal. Um, and I only plan to read, read 20 books in 2021. Um, but kind of this is how I did my book log. And then this was like my book cache. As you can see, I've got quite a bit saved in theory. Um, and then it continued. And then January pretty. And I've never really finished any of these pages. Um, see, I tried. gets like so. see this is when I started my A to Z uh, so kind of all the ones in like the black same pen I'd already read and then I had to go back and fill in a few more but I've completed it um, and then I started doing a blogging every day um, that I never, never actually got around to November this day. So it's like my November reads. Oh, I started reading Gary watching Garage Sale Mysteries on Amazon. It's really good. So this is how I did my book of the year. So I basically just butchered a template I found on Instagram. Um, <clears throat> so what you do is for each month you write your favourite book of the month. And then at the end of like the quarter, your favourite between January, February, you put here. Your favourite between February and March, you put here. Then your favourite between these two, you put here. And then you do the same for the next quarter. And your favourite between those two, you put there. And your favourite between those two, you put here for like your six months. And then you kind of do the same for the second half of the year. Um, so at the moment, I need to finish reading some books in December. Um, but I'll need to decide between The Truth and Triumph from Grace Allerton and Christmas Crap. So I've got a feeling that will be the book of the month. Then I'll need to decide between The Witchfinder's Sister and whatever that is. I'm 99% sure it's going to be The Witchfinder's Sister. Then I'll need to decide between The Rules of Magic and the Witchfinder Sister, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Witchfinder Sister um, and then that'll go there for the half year and then I'll need to decide between, let's say, the Witchfinder Sister and the Family Upstairs and then that book will be my overall winner for 2021 but I think it's going to be that as soon as I kind of got a few pages in um, I decided, so that's kind of what I did um, and then December, and I've not wrote any essentials down. And then I've just got a few like planning bits and bobs. So this was kind of like my junk book. But yeah, so let me get. So it is quite a bit smaller than A5. Maybe it is B5, I don't know. Um, Can you even see the difference? Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.